Hey guys, today I want to present the solution to the Baltic Way 2023 problem 4. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We are asked to find all functions from the real numbers to the real numbers such that f of f of x plus y plus x times f of y equals f of x y plus y plus f of x for all real numbers x and y. As usual, when dealing with functional equations, it's a good idea to plug in the value 0. And here we see that p of 0y gives us that f of f of 0 plus y is equal to f of y plus f of 0. For y equal to 0, this especially implies that f of f of 0 is equal to 2 times f of 0. Setting y equals to 0, we get that f of f of x plus x times f of 0 is equal to f of 0 plus f of x. It would be great if f of 0 equals to 0 because then we have f of f of x equals f of x. But right now we are not able to prove this and therefore we want to move on and try another approach. It's often a good idea to choose the variables in such a way that the two arguments are equal. And we can indeed do this in this case here, because if we set y equals f of x divided by x, then this argument is equal to this one. So let's do this to get that p of x comma f of x divided by x, where x is of course not equal to zero, gives us that x times f of f of x divided by x is equal to f of x. We can divide both sides by x to get that f of f of x divided by x is equal to f of x divided by x. And therefore, we find at least one value such that f of this value is equal to this value. So let a be the value such that f of a is equal to a. It would be great if we can find such a not equal to zero because then we can plug in this value for x to get that f of 1 equals 1. We know that a can be any value of the form f of x divided by x, where x is not equal to 0. So if one of the values of f of x is not equal to 0, we can find such a not equal to 0. Therefore, the only bad case is that f of x is equal to 0 for all x not equal to 0. And in this case, we see that f of 0 is also equal to 0, because otherwise we would have a non-zero value here on the right-hand side, but on the left-hand side we would have f of something not equal to 0, and so the left-hand side is equal to 0, which would be a contradiction. So we indeed have f of x equals to 0 for all x. We see that this is indeed a solution, so let's note it down. And otherwise we are allowed to choose a not equal to 0, and now, as I said, we can plug in x equals a into this equation to conclude that f of 1 is equal to 1. Another useful value to plug in for x equals minus 1, because then this argument here is 0. So let's do this to get that p of minus 1 y gives us f of f of minus 1 plus y minus f of y is equal to f of 0 plus f of minus 1. Now we are ready to prove our claim that f of 0 is equal to 0. And to do this, we assume that this is not true. So f of 0 not equal 0. This implies that f is injective, because if we plug in values a and b for x in this equation here, where f of a equals f of b, we get that this term and the right hand side is equal. And therefore, we can divide by f of 0 to get a equals b. So f is injective. If we plug in y equals 0 into this equation here, we get that f of f of minus 1 is equal to 2 times f of 0 plus f of minus 1. And now we can use our first equation to get that this is equal to f of 2 times f of 0 minus 1. Using f injective, we conclude that f of minus 1 
is equal to 2 times f of 0 minus 1. Now we can plug f of minus 1 into this equation here to conclude that f of 2 times f of 0 minus 1 plus y minus f of y is equal to f of 0 plus f of minus 1. We can use our first equation here again to bring this 2 times f of 0 in front of the f to conclude that this is equal to 2 times f of 0 plus f of y minus 1 minus f of y. Bringing 2 times f of 0 to the right hand side, we get that f of y minus 1 minus f of y is equal to minus f of 0 plus f of minus 1. The right hand side is a constant, so for any value of y on the left hand side, the left hand side is the same. And this means that if we plug in 1 and 2 for y, we have that f of 0 minus f of 1 is equal to f of 1 minus f of 2. We conclude that f of 0 is equal to 2 minus f of 2. It is left to prove that f of 2 equal to 2. But we can do this indeed because since we assumed f of 0 not equal to 0, we can plug in f of 0 into this equation here and then we use the first equation to see that f of 2 is equal to 2. So we conclude that this is equal to 0, a contradiction. We finally obtained f of 0 equals 0 and can use it for this equation to conclude that f of f of x is equal to f of x. With this equation here, it's a good idea to plug in the value f of x. And we will do this in this equation for y to get that f of f of minus 1 plus f of x. And now we will bring the f of f of x to the right hand side to get that this is equal to f of 0, which is 0, plus f of minus 1 plus f of f of x, which is equal to f of x. We would like to use the given functional equation now. And our left hand side looks promising because we have f of f of x plus something. And therefore, we want to plug in the something, which is f of minus 1, for y into this equation here. And in order to use this equation, we have to add x times f of f of minus 1 to both sides. Using the given functional equation with y equals f of minus 1, we get that the left hand side here is equal to f of x f of minus 1 plus f of minus 1 plus f of x. On the right hand side, we can write f of f of minus 1 equals f of minus 1 to get that this is equal to f of minus 1 plus f of x plus x f of minus 1. Subtracting f of x from both sides yields that f of x f of minus 1 plus f of minus 1 is equal to x f of minus 1 plus f of minus 1. If f of minus 1 is not equal to 0, then this argument here can attain any real number. And therefore, we conclude that for f of minus 1 not equals to 0, we have f of x is equal to x for all x. This is also a solution to our functional equation. And now it's only left to deal with the case that f of minus 1 is equal to 0. Taking a look at this equation here, we see that that's just a trivial statement, namely 0 equals 0. And thus, we want to try to plug in minus 1 for y. Moreover, we know that f of 1 equals 1. And thus, it's a good idea to look at the equation p of 1 minus 1, which tells us that on the left hand side, we have f of 1 minus 1, which is 0, plus f of minus 1 is equal to, on the right hand side, we have f of minus 2 plus f of 1, which is 1. This implies that f of minus 2 is equal to minus 1. Now, after knowing the value of f of minus 2, we can plug in minus 2 for x and this time 1 for y to get f of f of minus 2, which is just minus 1 
plus 1 minus 2 times f of 1, which is just minus 2, is equal to f of minus 2 plus 1 plus f of minus 2. The left-hand side is just equal to minus 2, and the right-hand side is equal to minus 1. So this is a contradiction. In total, we have no solution in this last case here, and therefore f of x equals 0 and f of x equals x are our only solutions, and we are done.